Hi guys, welcome to Morning Tales for 24th April 2019. It's 8 a.m. in the morning and today I'm going to pick up a lot of questions and explain to you a lot of things that are important for the government examinations that you're going to write in the coming year. So let's start without wasting any time. Let's start with the session. The first question that I have for you today and the entire topic in fact is very very important and you cannot miss out on this topic. You have to understand, you have to remember and you have to uh, uh, you know be very clear about what exactly the entire issue is all about. The question is recently US has decided to end waivers given to India to import oil from which country? Please uh, mention your answers in the comment section below before I move on to the answer because I want to see how engaged and how regular are you <clears throat> with respect to the morning tales that we're publishing because it's not just me providing you morning tales it's also you watching these morning tales on a regular basis consistency is what matters so the answer to this first question is c iran iran is the country uh, on which us had uh, put a lot of sanctions with respect to its shipping industry with respect to its uh, oil industry which is one of its major revenue sources and it put the uh, sanctions in November, sometime in November, and gave uh, uh, exemptions to a lot of countries like India, China, Japan, South Korea, and Turkey for six months. The time period was set as six months in order to allow these countries, in order to allow these countries to find out another uh, other sources of uh, uh, oil uh, import, and after which it had clarified that it would. Uh, put sanctions on these uh, on on these six countries imports as well, and that is what has happened. It has decided not to renew the exemptions. Not talking about not renewing of sanctions. It is talking about not renewing renewing or non renewal of exemptions that had been provided to India, among other countries. Now, what exactly is the issue? We know that the answer is Iran. What exactly is the issue? It's something really important that you should understand. So, in 2015, US and Iran had come to an agreement and uh, the agreement was about peaceful use of uh, nuclear energy by Iran. So Iran had been uh, developing its nuclear energy and US was saying that hey Iran you can develop nuclear energy but don't do it for military purposes and the way we are going to ensure that you're not using the nuclear power that you have for uh, you know military purposes is by inspecting your installations. So uh, le let us inspect uh, your installations uh, or let IAEA inspect your installations and in the return we are not going to put any sanctions on you. Iran said okay uh, I have no problem with it uh, you can you're very welcome to come and inspect all of my uh, nuclear installations I'm using it only for peaceful purposes for energy purposes not for anything else and uh, both parties were happy but when uh, uh, Donald Trump came into power he said that hey Iran uh, how about uh, closing down all your nuclear installations or even better how about providing us uh, access to inspect not only your nuclear installations but also your missile installations and Iran said oh that's not happening that's not possible uh, you're asking probably too much now so US said hey Iran uh, we're going to put sanctions on you you either do what we say or you're not going to allow you to export a lot of things that you are exporting uh, to other countries and if you you know don't abide by what we say we are going to continue with our sanctions and uh, you know destroy your economy so that's what is going on right now Iran is uh, a major exporter of oil not only to India but also to other major powers uh, now some small facts about how much India imports from Iran. India imports almost 24 million tons of crude oil in the year 2018-19. That's how much it imported which amounted to almost 10% of its entire oil imports which were uh, in, in the range of 220 to 240 million tons in the year 2018-19. So it's a lot and the impact that is going to have on India is that it will spike the crude oil prices in India and that is going to spike up the inflation levels as well and uh, but but us is saying hey india uh, it doesn't matter because we have up another other supply sources you can buy oil from us we have a lot of oil based on shale gas you can uh, buy oil from saudi arabia kuwait uae and mexico which are ready to sell oil to you now we have had agreements with them and you can buy oil from them but certainly Iran was providing oil to us at a at a very cheap price and we were given some 
other freebies like free insurance free transport and things like that and those things are not going to happen now so certainly the price is going to go up and it's going to affect the consumer uh, as i said six month waiver was given to eight countries including india so that was all about uh, this particular question let's come to the second question the question is which of the following is incorrect listen to the question and see the question very carefully word book and copyright day april 23rd english language day april 23rd spanish language day april 23rd one of them should be incorrect right international day of multilateralism and diplomacy for peace april 24th and the last option is none of these so let me have your answers let me see how many of you are good with facts about uh, important days and uh, the correct answer of this question is e none of these and why this question is important not because of uh, these three uh, you know important ones on april 23rd but the fourth option that is international day of multilateralism and diplomacy for peace and this is the first year that april 24th has been officially named as international day of multilateralism and diplomacy for peace by the un and the purpose is to observe this day for three fundamental pillars which are sustainable development which is so important an issue now peace and security and human rights all these three things and i believe these three things are the most important with the rise in population and it going berserk human rights have become an issue with climate change and all these environmental issues facing us in the face sustainable development is an important issue with peace and security uh, you know getting hurt or getting affected because of all the protectionism and all the polarization happening in the entire world i think peace and security is very important because there's a war like environment everywhere in the world so all these three have become really important in a un has decided to work on these three fundamental pillars by declaring a particular day called as international day of multilateralism and diplomacy for peace remember it guys very important can be asked in the examination let's come to the third question the question says what is the name of third guided missile destroyer launched by indian navy well the question does not look very promising but the reason that it's important is because it's named after either a state or a city the answer to this question is b ins nymph imphal if you did not know it already you know it now if you knew it very well and uh, the way it can be made confusing is that all the other names are also based on cities or states and there have been two more uh, missile destroyers which have been indigenously designed as well as launched by indian navy in the past and let's cover them as well so what are these two indigenously designed and developed old uh, guided uh, missile destroyers and these are INS Vishakhapatnam which is uh, in the south of India and then you have INS Murmugao which is in Goa so these two are also hold a lot of importance can be asked in the exam but the most important one is INS Imphal which is the third one and just because it is named after uh, you know a city therefore it becomes important so let's come to the next question which is very important i'm going to give you some important uh, and interesting facts as well the question is iran has agreed another question on iran iran has agreed to set up a joint border reaction force with which of the following country so iran has agreed to set up a joint border reaction force with pakistan the answer is pakistan well that was easy but the difficult part is knowing the bordering nations of iran let's have a look at them number 1 pakistan number 2 afghanistan number 3 turkmenistan number 4 azerbaijan which is on the left side of caspian sea turkmenistan on the right side of the caspian sea which is here then you have something here which is confusing so we'll have a look at that as well number 5 we have iraq on this side so let's uh, you know zoom it a little and see what exactly is it th that i want to show you now these are the countries involved here there is azerbaijan out here let me erase uh, all of this to help you understand it better you have azerbaijan here which was the fourth one here the one country that you have here is armenia armenia very important can be asked in the examination it is also a bordering nation to iran it is also bordering iran and then this small one that you have here this one here this little piece of land here also belongs to azerbaijan azerbaijan is also divided into two parts with the border being taken by armenia so the fifth one becomes armenia 
Iraq becomes the sixth one. So these are the countries with which Iran has borders. I thought it's important that you have information about these just for your general knowledge and can be asked in the examination as well. So that was important and that was interesting. Let's come to the next question. Gomathi Marimutu is associated with which sport? Now it's a very interesting race that you have to see. You just go online and watch it. Go to YouTube and watch it immediately after this session. Very interesting race. She was almost the last, in fact, at sixth position at one point of time in this race, which was a 800 meter race in the Asian Athletics Championship 2019. Asian Athletics Championship 2019. You have to go and see that race. It's very inspiring. She was almost at last at sixth position and she pushed really hard towards the end and came first, won a gold medal, gold, gold medal, sorry, in the uh, Asian uh, Athletics Championship uh, on 23rd of April, uh, late in the evening. So it was held in Doha, Qatar. Uh, Gomathi Marimatu won gold medal, as I said, in women's 800 meters. At the same time, Tajinder Singh Tour also won a gold medal in the men's short put category so that's also interesting but the more interesting and the more inspiring one was the race in which gomathi took part so the last question for today is who has been appointed as the md of twitter india a very factual question but such questions are also asked in the examination so i would recommend that you don't miss out on them please uh, answer them in the comment section below before i answer it for you that is the last question for today. And the answer is D. Manish Maheshwari. D. Manish Maheshwari. That's all for uh, the fact related to the appointment of MD. You have to remember them. For all the important uh, updates uh, about uh, 23rd April, 24th April on a daily basis, you can go to the website www.anajindal.in and there you will find daily updates as well as monthly magazine called as Spotlight which is very interesting to read. If you like this lesson please subscribe to the channel immediately do not forget and you can also press the bell icon in case you want to get a notification early morning at 8 o'clock uh, that uh, I have uh, uploaded the video on the morning tales. So that was all for today all the very best take care.